Black Friday is having an impact on stocks as well. CBS 2's Joy Adas is here with today's Money Watch report. Good afternoon. See you, Catherine. And it's people are in fisticuffs over electronics. Mm -hmm. Once again, they are the hot ticket items this holiday shopping weekend. Major retailers report big screen TVs, iPad minis, and the new gaming systems are all the big sellers. Now, with consumers increasingly cautious about spending and six less shopping days this year between Thanksgiving and Christmas, discounting and new gimmicks are the name of the game. The National Retail Federation says that 44% of retailers are sending out email campaigns with their sales specials. 23% are offering free gifts with a purchase and 21% are offering free shipping. Now Walmart calls Black Friday the Super Bowl of retail, given that many stores make up to 40% of the year's revenue in the stretch between Black Friday and Christmas. Customers were offered wristbands for the first time, letting them shop while they waited for hot deals on popular products such as the Microsoft Xbox One and Sony PS4. And for the first time, Target is offering additional deep discounts counts to a downloadable app. The Dow right now is setting up for a record close again and what could be the sixth straight all-time closing high for the index. Right now it's up about 43 points. Now trading is expected to be light today given that many brokers are still on vacation following the Thanksgiving holiday. Today is a shortened trading session with trading at the New York Stock Exchange closing at 1 o'clock, three hours earlier than usual. In other market news, struggling retailer JCPenney will leave the S&P 500 as its market cap has shrunk to $2.7 billion and is no longer suitable for a listing on the Nasdaq. Stephen Catherine. All right, thanks so much, Joya.